Right now, I'm giving everybody the business. They can't handle it. So, Kanata thinks he's good, but he's not. I'm about to show you on camera live that he's about, about to, to lose. Party, then, it's, it's, about, it's about to be a party. It's about to be a party. <laughs> and then, and then, wait, wait, wait. and then Meech, you know, he's always losing to everybody, so he's out the. Nobody gotta pay attention to that. He can only just sing, that's it. Don't believe this guy, all right? You get waxed, all right, with this pattern. Eight five. Oh, this pattern was way better. Nine five. You're still losing. <laughs> That's how you win two games in a row. Come, come get this real quick. You know, you're a great singer, but how's it feel to lose? You're a loser! You just spit in my eye. I tell you I ain't gonna take it. I got hands on the nation. Check my reputation. Yeah, that scoreboard still wanna know that my tomb is vacant. That's why I undefeated. Hey, what's up you guys? This is Gavi. Today I'm going to be showing you how I made the beat for Lecrae. Uh, the song is called Nothing. And um, we're just going to have a great time today. You're going to see some clips of different things that's been going on. And um, yeah, I'm excited. So let's do this. So what you guys just heard was the original sample of the song. Uh, this is called Time X Social Club uh, Thinking About Ya. And no, it's not the social club that you think about in Christian hip hop. This song is like from back in 1986, I believe. And um, so yeah, a little story behind this song. Um, last year, I was just going through a lot of my old, old school hip hop songs that I used to jam out to when I was like in you know high school and middle school. And Looney's I Got Five On It was a huge song. Um, it, it just had a classic bass line, um, the bells on it. It was just, it felt real hood street and it was, it was just a good vibe. It was a classic hip hop, you know, beat. And I thought, I was like, man, it would be awesome if I took that and you know, took some of the drums and the bass lines and everything, made it my own, replayed everything, and just um, made it something really re relevant to what's going on today in hip hop. As I made it and everything, um, time kept on going, and then I showed Lecrae because he started working on his album, and um, Lecrae loved it. He, he thought it was awesome, he saw the vision I was seeing, and um, the what he wanted to address in, in today's hip hop was just amazing like he just nailed it right on the on on the beat and i felt like it it, it, it blended real good with uh with the track especially since it, it was a sample um so yeah um i'm gonna show you guys today how i made the beat and i hope you guys like it trying to remember it so that was the baseline um, another one what was this one then I tucked in a low pad under it just to give it more like bassiness I didn't want to use the 808 yet because I wanted the 808 to really hit you when the hook hit so this one was the same thing it was I think in this one I actually went down to I was like you know so then I 
play these bells right here. And this is just basically me replaying everything. Um, and really trying to make it sound good all together. So this was the pre-hook. So then after that, um, added the kick. And here's the kick. So I wanted to, uh, I wanted to, I wanted to give it a bounce. Um, the original Looney's beat, um, it has like a slower tempo. And I, I sped up the tempo a lot quicker. And I felt like it had a better bounce like that. Um, so. And then I added an 808 under it. Then after that, I added some snares. Yeah, that's right. And it was like, it was cut in half time. Because you can easily go. Right? But the snare, it just gave it a better bounce if I put the snare on half, so. You hear it? So, you could do it either way, but halftime was dope. So then after, I added the hi-hats, and uh, it's pretty dope. So it was... Alright. Um, then I also added these hi-hats. I also added the, this open hat on top of the, the hi hats. And then all the drums together sounded like this. And then I wanted to give it something else uh, on top of the drums. I usually like using a lot of vocals as um, like instruments whether it's like a yell out of nowhere or some type of cool rhythm, uh, uh, some type of cool rhythm pattern that somebody does with their vocals. So I took a what and just put it on top, top of the, the kick. And then with the the other haze, it sounds dope too. That's pretty much it, man. Uh, I just started stacking up sounds. So remember how I showed you the melody of the bells? So I just added more sounds of that one. That's a synth right there. It's like a pluck. And then this is like a bass line under that, that was just tucked in. That one with the eight of weights. Um, then I added this other synth on top of the original bass line that you heard in the beginning of the video. I use that same sound uh, in Social Club's song, uh, Coogee Sweater with Andy Mineo. And I, I felt like it sounded really good on top of the 808. So I just replayed the melody of the bass line. And yeah, that's the, like, the whole entire beat right there. <laughs> And then, when I was done with the whole beat, I just added like little small things just to accent uh, transitions like this little sweeper thing. It's a sound effects. Um, what was another one that I added? A chorus.
course, you always got to have your cymbal. Uh, and this one, two. And then when I get uh, Lecrae's vocals, I just cut in and out through different, uh, like, I'll take out a kick on, on a certain word or I'll take out the snares on certain words just to give it, you know, a lot of space for the vocal to um, really shine. Because I could play the background. I could play the background. <laughs> you guys, it's been amazing. Thank you so much for uh, checking out How I Made Nothing. And, yeah, see you guys soon. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom.